We are finally talking about Christine Chandler, or Chris Chan for short, which I will be referring to them as Chris Chan the whole video. Chris Chan, we're talking about Chris Chan. Down with tyranny! A sinister character has entered society yet again, locked away for a time in a prison in Virginia. I don't know if prison, maybe jail. I'm not sure how that works, but Virginia, that's where I'm from. There's a creature back on the streets. A great evil has yet awoken again, and they wear their yellow badge with pride and honor. After a horrible transgression against humanity happened in a terrible situation in this person's home, their love quest was completed. They have returned to society to spread their message once again. This is Chris Chan. Ever heard of Chris Chan? I'm sure you have. Even PewDiePie did a video on Chris Chan many, many, many moon ago. I remember seeing it and just being so fucking confused. Today, we're going to be going down a little bit of a rabbit hole. A lot of the people that watch my channel probably aren't very familiar with Chris Chan, short for Christine Chandler, an author, storyteller, genius, modern day visionary, and lol cow from the great state of Virginia. People are cut from a different cloth around those parts, guys. Me, I'm from Virginia. Me and Chris are from the same area, pretty much. And we have a lot of things in common. I'm just kidding. To kind of give a normal comparison to this situation, uh, you've heard of Disney adults, right? You, everyone's heard of that. It's become something very popular that a lot of people hate and a lot of people are, you know, it's, it's, it's similar to this. But imagine this, just way darker way 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 darker and very 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 strange of course not wanting to infringe on the copyright and ip of the great japanese company nintendo chris chan was a lover of sonic the hedgehog and pikachu but they devised a brilliant plan to combine these worlds into something incredible and new that they were passionate about long ago pre-jail pre-jail pre-going to King jail. Christine wanted to live out these fantasies and dreams for the whole internet to see at any given time. And they brought together these worlds and created Sonichu. Bruh. Look at this stuff. This is so awesome. She combined the worlds of Pikachu and Sonic, and it became the mystical world of Sonichu. Oh my god, this is so cool. I didn't realize I had a little hair right there, a little hair flap. Oh <laughs> wow. That thing got pretty long. The Sonichu comic series, AKA Christine Chandler's magnum opus was a polarizing work of fiction. Still is a polarizing work of fiction. Look at it again. <laughs> Shut up. We're talking about Chris Chan. Mind your business, you little heathen. Now, I'm not exactly sure why people are drawn to this thing. Uh, it's like maybe the, the childlike quality of the art the poor writing or the lackluster storytelling i'm not really sure let's go through some of it go sonichu go out and zap to the extreme i will thank you father that's chris chan by the way the sonichu comic series became the creative outlet for christine chandler for years and years and years the creative outlet for all the desires and fantasies that lay dormant hibernating before chris chan became an actual author look at this this is so funny Look at these. I wonder how I can say it. Imagine Chris Chan eating a hot dog, but the hot dog is in the form of Sonichu, kind of, if that makes sense. Or imagine the pink one from Sonic and then Sonichu um, putting its hot dog in it. Now, unfortunately, and as you can probably imagine, the trolls would sniff out the putrid scent of this degeneracy and bully this poor, poor aspiring artist relentlessly author artist whatever the fuck you want to call christian i don't know dude freak <laughs> the relentless bullying it began long 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 ago there was so much bullying and harassment that revolved around this whole little small strange world of chris chan's proclaimed love quest now the love quest was chris chan's real life saga looking for true love and trying to find a partner to live life with it's something we all go on. We all go on our very own love quest. Frankie's been on a love quest for a while. Petey, I don't know where Petey is. There's Petey down there in that hole right there. 
I hope that a lot of you have never heard of this before and this is just your first experience with it because by God, this is a rabbit hole the likes of which you've probably never seen. Chris believed at the time that this love quest would solve all of Chris's real life, real world problems and looked to even have a small daughter who Chris already chose the name for, Crystal. What a cute little name. Cute name for a little baby girl. That's so, so adorable. Look at this love quest sign. 21 and single white male, seeking cute 1821 single female companion. If any men read this huge sign, mind your own business. Only for girls. This fucking love quest, by the way, this shit lasted from 2003 to 2018. About as long as we were in Iraq and Afghanistan. How crazy is that? Dude is persistent. No luck overall, by the way. There was a prostitute hired in 2012 to help out Chris with this, with this love quest and if that's not true love quite frankly i don't know what is <laughs> as you could probably surmise going on this love quest very publicly and creating the world of sonichu it's gonna bring about a lot of trolls and bullying and harassment and it did honestly the trolls poke fun at chris saying that the only way that she would ever find her love would be by turning to her elderly mother for love in desperation <laughs> because no one else would ever want to be with Christine Chandler. Of course. Look at this rapscallion YouTube commenter. After over a decade, how have you not learned that this is the exact opposite reaction you want to have to deter trolls? I mean, that's fair. That's fair criticism, to be honest. Um, the trolls were given the exact reactions that they were looking for. I mean, there is gold content for years, decades, de over a decade of golden content from Christine Chandler. Incredible stuff. And yeah, I would say probably Chris, not gonna learn because Chris got something wrong with Chris. I'm not sure though, for sure. For a while, like, I don't really know that all that much, but I'm starting to think that there is something bad going on here. After enough of this pestering, Chris would eventually turn these trolls' theories and conspiracies into fortune tellers with facts. Um, this actually happened, by the way. This is why Chris Chan went to jail because Chris Chan took some form of advantage with Chris Chan's elderly mother, and that's up and quite frankly i lost interest at that point at that point in the story i was like you know what <laughs> this is weird now and what i'm about to read is incredibly horrible so please strap in christine chandler claimed that she was the best s word partner that her mom had ever had because her past boyfriends and husbands or whatever never uh got around to the 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 spot that said you know it's called i'm trying not to be get my deep docs or i'm trying not to get flagged by youtube dude i've been getting flagged a lot it's just so weird truly it's an oedipus moment it really is an it's oedipus it's oedipus chris chan is oedipus genuinely now chris chan's mom by the way is elderly like i mentioned 82 years old currently still alive there's a lot of f***ed up memes look at this one honestly that's kind of funny i'm sorry i think it's funny i love fallout and i love this story now, this allegedly went on for quite a while and apparently happened every three days or so for a time, only stopping when Chris was forcibly removed from the home, according to the lore on the Sonichu website. Although, I don't have any way to corroborate this evidence aside from the, just the Sonichu website, so... <sighs> These disgusting and illegal relations would result in uh, Christine Chandler getting arrested. The things that happened between this person and their mother and was charged with and hopefully, hopefully a lot more stuff. But no, 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 alas, it was not. Christine looks pretty happy in this one. And this looks pretty happy. Pretty happy little guy there. Especially when you compare it to an old mug shot when Christine got arrested for using mace on a fella. Look at this. Doesn't look as happy. Looks kind of grumpy, to be honest. After all of this, Chris would spend one year and seven months behind bars starting August 2nd, 2021, going all the way to March 27th, 2023, earlier this year. During this time, there was a lot of work done for Chris to make a plea of insanity or try to make the case that Chris acted out of her own control. Anything to get a reduced sentence or have the charges dropped entirely, but still spent over a year in jail, nearly two whole years. Personally, I'd say there's grounds for insanity or some kind of thing, but at the same time, um, 
only because it's a horrible thing to do, not because it's obviously rational in some form or another. Although in February of 2022, Chris was transferred to the Western State Hospital, which is a mental institution and was deemed incompetent to stand trial. So it seemed as though the plea for insanity was going quite squimmingly. But alas, a few months later, Chris was transferred back to the Central Virginia Regional Jail, having been deemed competent to stand trial again. So, I don't know. It's tough to say, really. It's very, very, very strange. This is Chris's lawyer, by the way. Interesting. What a funny looking little fella. And Chris's lawyer was not done fighting yet, by the way. This dude means business. This fella filed a motion for a autism disorder deferred disposition, which must have been effective because shortly after this, Chris's file was sealed. Dude is effective. I mean, look at this guy. This guy, he actually does mean business. He does look a little bit funny and the bow tie is a bit goofy, but he looks funny and he's very good. He's a very good lawyer. If I ever get end up in trouble back in Virginia, this is my lawyer for sure. As you can probably imagine, looking into this guy a little bit, Mm, his website gives some information and he's the right person to defend Christine Chandler. He defends some of the fucking worst defenders around, it seems like. He specializes in crimes. That is awesome. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm not friends with David anymore. I think I'm not using him. Even on his website, it says, no one is perfect. One mistake shouldn't determine your future. Um... Okay. Also, to be clear, I think there are some mistakes that should define your entire future. To be, that's just me though. I'm not sure. What do you, what do you, what do you guys think? Let, let's comment down below. See what you think. And by the way, this dude's great at his job because Chris Chan is free. Like the fucking beast of the Pacific Northwest, the Sasquatch Bigfoot. Look at this. Chris Chan was released on bond and spotted in a supermarket. Whoa! <laughs> After meandering around and enjoying some of her freedom that she had recently gotten back, Chris decided to jump on YouTube and tell the fans that she was back and ready to start going again and doing the same, keeping up with it, not the same stuff, but keep building out the Chris Chan lore. She started with a return song. Check out this shit. This is awesome. Team Rocket, stupid, you stupid, stupid, you stupid, moose it, stupid, moose it, stupid, big stupid is all your work. Team Rocket, stupid, you stupid, I didn't like that very much. Chris, I'm not a big fan of Chris Core. I prefer like cottage core or literally anything else. The title for that video, by the way, was Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu Prime Resurrected and Returned. <sighs> Interesting. That's cool. I think that's good news. Is that Jesus Christ is back? She says she makes a return to the internet and then she states that she is back and boundaries have been set. That's good. We're making steps in the right direction. You know, if this is someone that has a problem, a mental problem, I'm all for stuff. But then she says she's Jesus Christ himself and shows the palms and all that. That's awesome. All these crosses on the palms of my hands and the image and the etchings of where I have been hung on that cross back in Nazareth many a millennia ago. So Christine Chandler really stuck it in the face of her haters. Came back, got out of jail, thanks to that guy, that fucking lawyer guy, that expert fella. And by God, things have been getting better. There's still haters though. There's still haters. Who are these haters exactly? Well, Chris Chan documented these haters on a Twitter thread that she posted many years ago. The time has come to start listing out the back talkers who have been speaking bad of Chris Chan Sonichu within up to the past decade. Oh, a bunch of backfighters, eh? And then a Three Stooges meme, or three screenshots of th Three Stooges. I don't fucking know. But people like Oni Plays, a guy just pretending to be her mom, Psychic Pebbles, the creator of Smiling Friends, Matt Watson from Super Mega, and a bunch of other people are the fucking haters. The list is huge. The hashtag back talkers are people who have just shit talked her over the decade. I assume I'm going to be on the list there. I've never spoken about Christine Chandler ever uh, on YouTube, I don't think, maybe outside of podcasts and things like that. I think it's hilarious that she made a massive list of all these people. Some accounts that are fake, some of just accounts with 10 followers. They got so in her head and they came after Sonichu, so they all deserve to die, me included. I deserve to die. I ain't all that in a bag of chips. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm a piece of shit. Christian, by the way, has uploaded a few more videos. One of them was talking about everything that has happened. She's here to set the record straight now. She went to jail and was charged, but that's wrong. She was innocent. 
She never, ever, 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 ever had sex with Barbara and is innocent. Or it took so long to charge her and she spent so much time in jail that the sentence she would have been given was not even as long or maybe just a little bit longer than the time that she had already spent in jail for being a danger to old women. <laughs> Which that makes sense from a justice perspective, from a Mugu Gaipan perspective. She then goes on to blame the haters uh, for getting her charged because they manipulated her. Even though she wrote smut fictions of her and her mother, Barbie Chan, getting it on. You shipped me with that, with that snow lights. And Barbara was definitely not the perfect mother with me. Just, it was not the perfect mother-daughter relationship there, period. POV, Chris Chan makes a statement about the rumors between her and her mother. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Thank you. She then says she was proven innocent and they kept her in jail because they didn't know what to do with her, which that makes sense. Classic, classic common jail moment. She did nothing wrong. Those of you neurotypical, thinking you're able, whatever, there is at least one thing that is totally disabled about you, period. So don't, do not hate others for things that you are yourself. That's pretty based, honestly. I've heard that before. Um, don't be an ableist. Uh, there's definitely something that is disabled about us. It's almost like a fucking rap lyric. That shit rolls off the tongue. She's spitting bars and fire out there. She then name drops Bella or Isabella Janky, which Christine believes is the person that manipulated her into trying to fuck her mom. Isabella Jankin. She's the real sex criminal, period. That necklace is freaking me out, dude. I just feel so uncomfortable by this whole thing. I personally think Chris Chan blames her because she secretly recorded the conversation of her admitting to doing this horrible deed and then posted it. But also she is a terrible person and is known in the horrible Chris Chan saga as a hamster murdering internet bully. There's a fucking terrible story of her on Turkey Tom's channel if you want to go down that rabbit hole. Anyway, it's not true that Bella was the reason that Chris Chan did this to her mom, uh, but she also didn't tell her not to do it either. So it's the perfect uh, alibi for her, but also not really because Christine Chandler fucked her mom. That's crazy. She then ends the video with saying that there's nothing wrong with being associated with her, which is awesome, man. Also, you can't respond to the video. The comments are turned off, which makes sense. Why is this person allowed on YouTube? I have no fucking idea. This is crazy, dude. It just makes the whole situation worse, doesn't it? But I guess at least people can't react now, right? What does this mean for all of us? Well, I tell you what, dark times have befallen the world yet again. A great evil has been released upon us, but it's, it's fine though. It's fine though, because Chris has a girlfriend or friend, uh, not exactly sure what, and Chris Chan claims that this person is 30 years old, although I don't know about that personally. This could be someone who's completely ignorant of Chris's past. This could be an internet troll. Who knows? Doesn't matter. None of our fucking business. I just hope that there was some learning done from all these horrible transgressions and mistakes and this disgusting shit. And we can just kind of go on and not have any more massive arcs in the Sonichu story of the love and the love quest or whatever the f it's called. Chris Chan is obviously a deeply troubled person with so many deep seated issues that have affected judgment, uh, decision making skills for a long, long, long time, way before the trolls started even uh, speaking in any way and started interacting with her in any way. It's crazy the case got dismissed. Who the f knows what's going to happen now? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I'm working on it. Okay.